at PA Horicon with CJ Graham, uh, who plays paint, paint. Jason, and Jason lives, correct? Yeah, that's a great story, huh? How did you get that character? You know, it, it truly is uh, kind of a Cinderella story. Uh, I got fortunate. I was running a nightclub in Los Angeles, and I met some people. They put me in the wardrobe. They did a production. They saw me come through the screen as Jason, and they kept saying they're going to cast me for Jason. Uh, Lo and behold, they happen to be the special effects people from part four with Ted White. And a few months later, they called me to come down and meet Frank Mancuso Jr. and Tommy Coughlin, our writer director. And I mean, it's sincerely, the rest is lucky history. Wow, and you are an icon in this world, genre for sure. When you have that mask on, are you making facial expressions under that mask? I'm always smiling under that mask. Y'all think me as being, oh my gosh, but you know, when you put the mask on, it is a character. Uh, and when you start putting a mask on, anytime you cover your face, your whole body changes into that image. And if you've ever done it, I don't care if you put Spider-Man, Jason, or you put a wardrobe on, you become Hercules, you become that individual. Your body is... Well, it's just like, you know, any, any beautiful woman like yourself that gets dressed up and feel good and glamorous, you walk in, and you walk heel and toe, right? Yes. Now, if you got your tennis shoes on, you walk a little different. Why do you think the Jason franchise is so iconic still to this day? You know, it's, it's, it's really fortunate for me at least. You know, it's become such an iconic uh, franchise, a billion dollar franchise over the last 40 years. I did this over three decades ago, and I'm still having conversations with folks about it. And even little people, I had a young lady in her earlier, she was five years old, and she loves Jason. Five years old, I'm thinking, have you seen the movie? And the dad's like, well, yeah, parts of it, but... I've got people that are my age, I'm 65, that are my age and older, and there's people in the middle that are just totally amazed by the Jason concept, the opportunity. Um, I always tell people there's 1.4 billion people in India, and if you show them a picture of Tom Cruise, they'll all say Tom Cruise. If you show them a picture of C.J. Graham, they'll show their shoulders like, okay. But if you turn the picture over to Jason Voorhees, they'll all say Jason on Friday the 13th. So, interesting, huh? But I'm very fortunate. Yes, you are. See, do you understand that you were in the military? Thank you so much for your service. What was that like for you? You know, I was in the military 48 years ago. I was infantry, army. Um, it was a great experience. Um, I never had a father, so I, at 17 I was in the military, and I never looked back. So that kind of gave me my foundation um, for my integrity and my honor going forward. So I did uh, four years, honorable discharge, and then from that point I just kind of moved through what I've done. You know, doing the acting. Stunts, and in the last 26, 27 years, I ran casino resorts. Now you're back in the business industry. How has that been for you, especially during the pandemic? You know, it's been great though. I retired five years ago from running casino resorts. Congratulations! And I always knew I had this in my back pocket. So I've been fortunate. I did 13 Fanboy with Dee Wallace and Corey Feldman here, which came out last year. Uh, I've got another film coming out, Vengeance 2, where I play Elias Voorhees, Jason's father. So now it's fun. It's, it's not an income expectation, it's more of a, this is fun. Wow, Jason got a dad. Now we all knew he had a mom, he got a dad too. Got a dad. Okay, that's nice. And I get to play him. Wow. I grow a beard for about five months and they put stringy long hair on me, kind of like when a Viking. When can we watch that in here? On a streaming platform? It'll be a streaming platform. Vengeance 1 came out about uh, 18 months ago. Vengeance 2, they just finished and wrapped it back in uh, November. My guesstimate, if I had to guess, I'll try to put it out this year, possibly Friday the 13th. That's its own launching platform as far as marketing, PR. But, you know, who knows what they do when they start editing and they start doing things. You just got to stay tuned. Thank you so much, CJ. Congratulations on everything. Honor. Thank you so much for having me.